Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. It's time to gather around the table to cook and converse. Right here, we'll come together to learn about Kansas agriculture and the farm families that feed us as we discover new recipes, Kansas products, and farm fresh ingredients. Good morning and welcome back to 13 News this morning. I love May because it is National Beef Month. That means that we can count on Chef Alley bringing in something beef oriented every Absolutely. Thursday morning. Every Chef, single time. Yeah, thanks for joining us. <laughs> and we've got this sponsored uh, by Kansas Farm Bureau. And that's what we're going to kind of talk about because we have uh, FFA leadership here. Gabrielle Gillum and mm -hmm. Dean Clare. They're K-State students also very involved in FFA as you can tell because they've got nice embroidered coats that are very nice. <laughs> uh, let's kind of talk. We'll start with you, Gabrielle, about the relationship between FFA and Kansas Farm Bureau. Yeah, Kansas Farm Bureau is one of our five-star sponsors, and two of the biggest things that they sponsor are grants. So they do startup grants for new chapters, mm -hmm. and then they also do community grants where the local Farm Bureau works with the chapter to get them um, started on any activities that are related to agriculture education. Very nice, very nice. And you guys have a big event coming up shortly, right? Yes, we do. We have state convention coming up here June 1st through the 3rd, mm -hmm. and so we'll have about 1,600 members from 140 different chapters across the state come to K-State campus to celebrate everything that we've accomplished this past year. Very nice. Cool. It's right. going to be a good event. It is going to be a great and event. And so, as you said, and um, probably you guys both eat a lot of beef at your home because I know oh, you yeah. live in the same <laughs> that I live in. I know your mom and dad, so you better watch out. But we are going to do a, this is called Bar 47 mm -hmm. Skillet Salisbury Steak. And did you know that in the state of Kansas, we have about 6.2 million cattle? I know we have a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so that means that for every single Kansan, we have about two, two cattle, two cows, whatever you want to say that. Mm -hmm. So in honor of that and uh, Kansas being Beef Month, we're going to do the Salisbury steak. And what's really important with this dish is over here in this pan, what do you see there, Chris Fisher? I see brown, and yeah. that's a oh, flavor. Oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> yes. a good yes. answer brown is because a flavor. that started out, that's onions and tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And when I put that in there, that was bright red, but we've browned it off, so we're going to get all that additional flavor. Here is a little bit of broth that we're going to add. And then also, this is a slurry, which is just cornstarch. And let me mix this up because, of course, it always settles to the bottom which that's a cornstarch slurry, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be our thickener. So over here in my other cast iron skillet, I've already got our Salisbury steaks simmering. They're fully cooked. They're just waiting for their gravy, which is, that's what this is, our tomato gravy. Mm. So you can see how quickly it thickens up. Dean was really nice to mash my potatoes over there in R2D2. And yesterday, something um, came out in the mail from uh, Kansas Farm Bureau, which is our quarterly publication. There you can see it, the Kansas Living with that cute little girl on the front. Mm -hmm. And in there you will find um, that we are having a contest. And this is what it's all about. This is for this morning. Mm -hmm. It's our nameless salad, but we would really like you to go, there you guys can see it, to um, kansaslivingmagazine.com and that's where you can enter to name that salad um, because it's a beautiful it, salad. It needs a name. <laughs> it needs a name. Every puppy or kitty, it, <laughs> exactly. the salad needs a name. It yes. definitely needs a name. Okay. And so we would love for you to go there and do that and also check out our quarterly publication that comes out to our members um, every every quarter. I yeah. think I already said that. And I so. think Allie's got a lot of recipes in there. <laughs> yes, I do. Every month. And so does our dietitian, Karen Hansen. Mm -hmm. She brings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ladle. Um, of course, if I was at home, I'd just pour that whole pan. Chris, do you want to turn that turn around? Turn that around. We but what we want to do is just ladle our tomato gravy over the top of mm -hmm. our Salisbury steak. Um, this is kind of a slow process with this teeny tiny That's ladle, right, but you it. get the All idea, right? <laughs> right. Yes. Exactly. And this recipe is at chefallies.com. You can find it there with all the other farm fresh fast recipes that we have on behalf of Kansas Farm Bureau. I love Beef Month. Guys, Me thanks so much. Too. Thanks, now you guys. We get to consume what Allie has <laughs> prepared. Absolutely. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Kansas Farm Bureau is proud to support hardworking families across the state like farmers and ranchers who make it their life commitment to provide food that nourishes all of us. Kansas Farm Bureau, representing grassroots agriculture.